Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got several items to hit, including three pieces of eye candy, atmospheric, planetary, and galactic. We'll hit an excellent paper on solar forcing of drought, and we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Small pops, filament instabilities, including a great one top right of the sphere, but no significant solar flares or eruptions of those filaments. We'll still have sunspots and filaments to watch. The next coronal hole enters on the south, and of course we were waiting for solar wind impact. That occurred, and the purple line is surging upward here today, plasma speed. It struck much later than expected and with favorable magnetism. No solar storm conditions yet, but we are starting to go through this stream here today, and it's going to last pretty much 24 to 36 hours. It's also worth noting that a couple major sunspot groups are due to return to the disk here soon. Umbral field seen here in one of those, rising high above the solar surface, Earth scale for comparison. Up next, we're off to ALMA, where planet-forming disks have been scoped in incredible detail. Previous studies wanted everything they could in the resolution, but now they want the fine structure. So they dim the wavelength range, eliminate the dust, and you go from this to this much higher resolution. This opens a new door in solar system formation studies, which are now underway. We're heading to the SVS next, and aerosols are the story, black carbon dust, sea salt, and sulfates. Light blue is water vapor clouds. This incredible animation is available in several formats on the link in your list below. Absolutely gorgeous when they make these. You can see hurricanes, wildfires, industrial impacts, and more. We're heading out to Andromeda next. We've got lots of wavelengths available from visible to radio to infrared to UV to x-ray and a composite. They've skipped microwave and gamma emission because frankly there's not much to see, but this is enough. Incredible views of major energetic centers, dust distribution, UV star shine and plasma accelerations in Andromeda. Lastly folks, Tier 1 paper on solar forcing of drought patterns. In general, the connection is already well known as the impact on monsoons determines that at larger scales, but this is the first time it's been studied at the smaller scale for northern Kazakhstan specifically. But same results as they get everywhere else. It's the sun. Folks, this weekend is Prepper Weekend at Observer Ranch. We're going over everything, every time period transition, and include a prepping report card for self-assessment. We've got the July Pole Shift Conference on the 12th, Observer Speed Dating in late July, Tactical Training start of August, and a lot more coming the rest of the year too. In October, we have the special event, The Experience. It's a major physical, mental, and spiritual readiness seminar over multiple days. TheExperienceColorado.com slash invite, link is below. And presuming you have your preps and your location in order, now we need to make sure yourself is ready and won't fail. Link is below for The Experience and Observer Ranch. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.